Did you ever think of yourself as actually dead, lying in a box with a lid on it? No. Nope. Nor do I, really. Silly to be depressed by it. I mean, one thinks of it like being alive in a box. And one keeps forgetting to take into account the fact that one is dead. Which should make all the difference. Shouldn't it? I mean, you'd never know you're in a box, would you? It would be just like you were asleep in a box. Not that I'd like to sleep in a box, mind you. Not without any air. You'd wake up there for a start, and then where would you be? In a box. That's the bit I don't like, frankly. That's why I don't think of it. you stuffed in a box like that I mean you'd be in there forever even taking into account the fact that you're dead it isn't a pleasant thought especially if you're dead really ask yourself if I asked you straight off I'm going to stuff you in this box now would you rather be alive or dead naturally you'd prefer to be alive life in a box is better than no life at all I expect. You'd have a chance at least. You could lie there thinking, well, at least I'm not dead. In a minute, somebody's going to bang on the lid and tell me to come out. Hey, you! What's your name? Come out of there. I think I'm going to kill you. Thy orisons be all my sins remembered. I wouldn't think about it if I were you. You'd only get depressed. My lord, I have remembrances of yours that I have long and long to re-deliver. I pray you now receive them. No, not I. I never gave you aught. My honored lord, you know right well you did. And with them words of so sweet breath composed as made the things more rich. Whatever became of the moment when one first knew about death? There must have been one. A moment. In childhood. When it first occurred to you that you don't go on forever. Must have been shattering. Stamped into one's memory. And yet, I can't remember it. It never occurred to me at all. We must be born with an intuition of mortality before we know the word for it, before we know that there are words. Out we come, blooded and squalling, with the knowledge that for all the points of the compass, there's only one direction, and time is its only measure. 